And here we have a much more typical day for Bayview. I'm back in the garage working on the router. And today I've got the x-axis rails mounted. So they look all right. I haven't tightened them down yet. I'm gonna need to uh, uh, basically get one of them uh, centered uh, perfectly and tightened down and leave the other one floating until I get the gantry done. Uh, then running the running the thing back and forth uh, uh, with the bearings will straighten out the second one, and I'll be able to incrementally kind of tighten that one down. Um, so that's a, that's a whole a whole aspect of truing the thing up that uh, that I'm sure is going to come to a head pretty quickly. Um, the other thing I have over here are my gantry adapter plates, so they turned out pretty good. Uh, I got those. Uh, uh, milled over at Russ's last weekend. Uh, so you can see these are kind of slotted out um, uh, in order to get uh, to have to have a little bit of slop so that I can uh, get the bearings uh, mounted over on the rails uh, perfectly tight. Uh, these all these holes are are tapped uh, to 3 8 16 uh, so that was uh, uh, that was certainly a task that was basically two nights in the living room sitting down in front of the TV tapping holes. Um, the other thing I thought I'd show off, I don't think I've shown these yet, these are the, uh, these are the gantry uprights. Uh, these uh, are sold kind of as is from CNC router parts. They're, they're very nice, very heavy duty steel. Um, the other thing I thought I'd show you, uh, I've been mounting all this stuff up with um, with these little T nuts and little button head bolts. That's what that's what's kind of holding everything together over here. Um, uh, the other alternative is this uh, carriage bolt, which has kind of a, a square. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it a square head. This kind of square bit at the at the base of the of the thread uh, and that that holds it steady in the slot when you're when you're tightening it I prefer the uh, the uh, the the little t-nut with the uh, with the little button head bolt the only problem with that is that you have to get the length uh, almost exactly right on these um, these are uh, 5 8 inch long in order to mount something that's a quarter of an inch thick uh, into uh, into the channel here. The advantage of the carriage bolt uh, would be that you can have in kind of unlimited uh, uh, bolt length, and it would all just kind of stick up above, uh, and then you would cap that with a normal uh, hex nut. Um, it's I'm not exactly sure which one is better. I much prefer the look. Of the uh, of the kind of black so black oxide finish with the little nice round button head. Unfortunately, it looks like when I mount my when I go to mount the gantry to the uh, uprights here, I may not be able to go with that because it's kind of an odd uh, length here, uh, an an odd depth for the for the bolt. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find the right length. I um, they're kind of a pain in the butt to. I mean, you know, you can always get a long bolt and then. Uh, and, and then cut it down uh, to whatever you need, but that's kind of a hassle. So may, I may just end up going with the carriage bolt for that. Um, but that, uh, uh, well, that will be coming to a, a head pretty soon because uh, because this is moving right along. I need to mount the uh, uh, the gear axe onto here, onto the uh, um, X axis, I know also onto the Y axis gantry. Um, this last week I got all my uh, parts, all my electronics parts, so I get to start working on that. That'll be something that I can do during the week down in Seattle. Um, so, yep, yeah, things are progressing. Check back later.